Welcome. In this tutorial, we're going to go over the drive wiper function of CCleaner. Now, I've had a lot of questions asked to me about the differences between the free space wipe and the entire drive wipe. So I figured I would do an extra tutorial to try and explain it a little bit more in depth so people can understand what the differences are. I made these little diagrams here. Our first one is for the free space only. Now the red X's represent data on the hard drive that actually exists like your operating system and files in your documents, stuff like that. The green zeros are data that has been erased and it's actually zero data on that block. The yellow asterisks are actually still data, but the computer thinks that it doesn't exist anymore. It fools itself into believing that it's not there until it needs that space again, and then it writes over it. So potentially, if you used a recovery program, you could recover any of the data that's in yellow on this drive. So when you use the free space wipe on CCleaner, what it does is it writes a zero to every single block that the computer thinks is uh, empty and, and that includes the data over here in the yellow because technically the computer thinks it's empty but it hasn't written over the data to make it uh, unrecoverable so what the free space only does is write over all that information to make sure that you can't recover that but it leaves all the files that exist on your computer that you're using intact so for instance, let's say that I put this movie that I have right here. If I was to put that in my recycle bin and delete it, the computer would say, yeah, it's gone. But in reality, that movie is still there. It's sitting in one of these yellow blocks until it's written over again with more information or you wipe it with a free space wipe or some kind of uh, program that overwrites it with a zero to erase it in reality. Okay. Now, the erase the entire drive is a, a little bit different. It's basically formatting your hard drive. Now, you won't be able to do this on the drive that you're running your Windows on, but any other drive that you hook up, you'll be able to erase every single block on there. So let's say that this drive on the left was hooked up independently, uh, say it's a portable hard drive, and the X's just represent data files that I have on there, and you know the yellow is still data that can be recovered, and the zeros are actually erased data. Now, when you run the entire drive, all data will be erased function, it actually is going to write a zero to every single block on that hard drive and erase all the information on that entire hard drive, okay? So let's open this back up, and here you have the free space only, and here's my hard drive and my flash drive that I have hooked up. Now, if I go to use the entire drive, watch what happens to my local disk. It now becomes grayed out, because you cannot format a drive that you're using that you're running Windows on. Now, if I had other drives on here, they would still be listed, but because that is the operating system drive, you cannot perform an entire drive wipe on that. So you can't accidentally erase um, the computer that you're, that you're actually on. It's a, a safety mechanism to keep you from, from messing things up. Now, free space only wipes, you have a, a simple one pass, three pass, seven, and 35. The more writes, the more secure the the least the less likely it's going to be that somebody can recover that information from your drive. Normally, one pass if you're just a normal Joe Schmo user, one pass is going to be more than enough. Three if you're you know semi paranoid, and seven is recommended by the government for any government computers to destroy information or anything like that on a on a government computer, hospital computer, things like that. Thirty five is. Um, conspiracy theory stuff so if you have to run a 35 pass um, you got some really serious stuff on your computer that nobody wants to see there there really is no reason for anybody to have to use that because each time you up the passes like let's just say one pass on my flash drive let's run that real quick okay I'm gonna click wipe and it's gonna run it and when you run the free space wipe it's not gonna ask you uh, to confirm that you want to do it because it's only erasing stuff that's already erased. It's basically just making sure that you can't recover that uh, any data from that section. And you can see how long it's taking. It's not taking really that long, but it's only 500 megabytes and it's only a single pass. Now, if you were to bump it up to three passes, 
it would take three times as long as this is taking. If you do it seven passes, it would take seven times as long. So if you go to wipe a drive on a single pass and it takes five minutes, and then you go to a triple pass, it's going to take 15 minutes. If you go to uh, you know, seven times, it's going to take 35 minutes to do that same wipe. So just remember that every time you increase the wipe cycle, it's going to also increase the time that it takes to do that. I'm going to click OK. Now, as we were talking about just before, um, let's, let me do it so you can see. My local drive is an SSD. Now, SSDs, you, should, you shouldn't run a free space wipe or format in an SSD unless you absolutely positively have to because every time you write to an SSD it degrades the life of the drive and free space wiping and uh, formatting do nothing uh, for your drive except degrade how long it's going to last. The only time you should ever have to use a free space wipe or format on an SSD is if you're getting rid of your computer. That's the only time I would ever use it. Um, other than that, you shouldn't really uh, have a need to run that on an SSD. But I'm going to show you what it's, go what it's going to say when I click on it. Secure wiping of drive C is not recommended. Drive C is a solid state drive which can wear out prematurely when securely wiped. Do you want to continue? I'm going to say no. Now technically a flash drive is uh, a memory uh, like SSD and also will degrade. But it's not going to give you the warning for that because... Uh, just because it's a flash drive um, the SSDs like I said you shouldn't you should never have to use any of these overwrites unless you are getting rid of your computer now entire drive wipe the same thing if you have an SSD listed in one of these it's going to tell you the same thing it's going to you know say that it's an SSD and don't do it um, we're going to do the entire drive on the flash so you can see what happens. I'm going to click wipe. Now, because you're doing an entire drive where you're wiping all the data off of it and you may have something on there that, you know, you accidentally clicked it and there's data on there that you want to keep, you, it's going to physically make you type erase to make sure that you want to erase it so you can't accidentally uh, erase it without uh, having a confirmation screen. So click OK. Now it's going to do a total format of my drive. Now I'm going to do something that you know most people may not. If you accidentally click cancel, do you want to cancel the operation? Yes, because you're like, oh, I don't have time to wait. So you click cancel. Well, guess what? You were in the middle of a format, basically. So now when you go back to that drive, you see my flash doesn't show up. You know why? Because it's not formatted anymore because you didn't let it finish the cycle. So now you have to format it for it to show up. So you can just click format disk and I'm going to put flash 512 and I'm going to do a quick format because this is basically the same thing. You have a quick format and you have a regular format. Quick format is basically going to write a zero at the front and zero at the end and make the computer believe that everything in the middle is empty. A full format is going to write a zero to every space on that 512 megabytes. Right now we're just going to do a quick, click OK, format complete, and now my drive shows up. There it is, blank. OK. And let me go over the other function that we have under our options and settings you have a secure deletion, which is normal file deletion and secure file deletion. Now, normal file deletion is you put it in your recycle bin or whatever and you hit delete and the computer makes it look like it's gone. It's really there. If you ran a recovery program, you could probably still retrieve it. If you want to make sure that it can't be retrieved, you're going to select secure file deletion and you're going to have the same options you have under the drive wiper. One pass, three, seven, and 35. So let's just say three passes, okay? We're going to wipe the alternate data streams, wipe cluster tips, and I'm going to say, like, say you have a movie. Okay, you don't want anybody else to see this movie that you have. It's uh, 182 gigabytes I have on there, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and throw it in my recycle bin, and I have it on secure deletion, three passes, and wipe, wipe. Go back to cleaner, click run cleaner, and you can see that it's going to take just a minute. It's telling you right here, it's emptying the recycle bin test movie. It's, it's getting rid of the movie. Now, because that movie is 1.82 gigabytes, it's going to write... 
and then rewrite again 1.82 and rewrite again 1.82. It's going to write it three times, as it says right here, secure file deletion enabled, advanced overwrite three passes. So it wrote almost six gigs in that little bit of time to write over that file so that it cannot be recovered. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and hit run cleaner again, make sure everything's gone. And that's how you use the drive wiper function in CCleaner.